All righty guys, uh, in this week's episode, we're gonna be mounting the steering column and also prepping up the pedals as well. So uh, as you guys can see right here, we have ourselves our like a, a makeshift column with our jig fixture holding up this column here so we can figure out where the real one needs to sit at. But uh, we've kind of got it figured out where we want to come out at. We figured out we wanted the column to come out down in here somewhere right around this area here in the firewall and uh, it's still comfortable for the driver so uh let's get into the episode all right guys we got the goonies on today and uh check out this race that's going on in the background at the beginning uh there's some pretty cool cars right there but uh let's get into the video here and let's rock and roll all righty guys uh first step up uh, we've got to cut this steering column and uh, you can see we got ourselves some painters tape over it kind of keep it protected and keep from uh, scratching it all up because you definitely got to take it in and out of the vehicle a bunch and um, let's get this firewall hole sawed. Alrighty guys, uh, we've bent ourselves some little mounting tubes there you guys see it right there yeah we're gonna mount it right there on those uh tube clamps that comes in the kit and uh, we'll just tack these on with the tig welder and uh, yeah you can see it right there it's starting to look pretty nice and uh, that's a very very strong mount now uh it's time to kind of put the pedals in or at least mock them up just to see make sure kind of we got room to do what we need to do and right now i am drilling out uh, the bolt hole pin basically so you can keep the whole entire shaft and assembly all put together and the shaft won't come out there on you but uh, yeah so we've got it inside the car now and we've kind of got some things mocked up and kind of tacked up not finalized at all but uh, just so we can make sure the pedals are going to fit around the column and uh, that it fits the driver and it's comfortable because this is kind of a step that you may have to take in and out and uh, we actually had to adjust this a little bit to finalize the pedal placement and then we end up using our um, uh, steering column jig fixture to help hold all this and make it level and then with some help of some baby magnets there. Alrighty guys, um, we're getting the column in this thing. We're getting the pedals in this thing. And um, we're rocking and rolling right now. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple of things and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of tips and tricks here on uh, mounting your uh, column and mounting your pedals. Uh, of course, all these items are available on our website, still on column kit and also on our pedal kit. Uh, they work really, really good. But uh, let me show you a couple things. So one of the first things I want to show is, of course, our jig fixture that we had used both on the column and on the pedals now. And I uh, definitely got to give some credit to my dad. Uh, he figured out that we could use this column fixture on mounting the pedals as well, uh, which is really cool. It worked out good because mounting pedals is extremely hard. Um, it's not that it's a complicated part, it's that it's complicated to hold. That's the problem you have with it. And um, this thing really worked good. So you can ball clamp it down to another tube, use the all thread, extend it out, and you can get your part level. And uh, it works really good. I mean, it really did. And we originally built this thing just so we could use it for the column, but it actually ended up working out really good for the pedals too so sometimes when you make a trick tool it ends up working twofold all right the next thing i want to talk about baby magnets it don't look like much but let me tell you this is a secret in your arsenal right here for mounting where these small tabs or for um, little tight areas like this here this is a brace that's going down into the pedal uh, one of the pedal mounts and uh, it works really really good it's a small area now something about magnets when you're welding 
if you have too powerful of a magnet, especially for a TIG welder, it will try to suck your weld or your arc, let's say, away from where you want to be welded if the magnet is too strong and too close. So keep that in mind. Sometimes bigger is not always better. You can get that part fitting super tight and that magnet super strong, but if, if it's too strong, you can't weld it, especially if you're tigging. Um, it, it wants to be a nightmare. Something else I wanna show you. This is another magnet that I like to use. Uh, this one is from stronghandtools.com. Uh, this one was actually gave to me. The reason I like this one, if you notice these little arms right here, watch this. Just like that. Now I can mount up a tab this way or on the other side. I can get a tab right in the center of the tube, just like that, and now I can weld a tab up that way. Very, very cool, and uh, this one's also adjustable so you can get it in the center of the tube. Very neat, very neat. But these little handy tools like this can uh, sometimes make a project or break a project, meaning if you don't have it with you, or you don't have one, it's kind of hard to get some of this stuff put together. But anyways, I thought that'd be a a uh, nice little break in the video and give you guys some tips and tricks. So let's rock and roll and uh, make a spark fly. Alrighty guys, uh, now it's time to use our little handy dandy angle finder here. Uh, this is a very, very cheap tool that you can purchase at Harbor Freight or Walmart or almost anywhere just about. And all it does is you can just kind of adjust it to kind of find what angle you want. And I use this tool to help me find what the angle of the notch needs to be going down to that second bottle clamp there around the column so uh, now we've got our angle uh, we're going to first cut off our 90 degree side it's going to go up into the pedal mount and then we'll flip this piece of tubing around here we've got our proper angle on our notcher and let's notch it and let's fit this bad boy up so yeah there you go you can see it's fitting in pretty nice all righty guys now we need to bend out this piece right here, this one right here, and I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. All right, guys, we went kind of old school on uh, having to bend this part out, no CAD for today, but uh, we got the original CAD, paper and pen. But uh, anyways, so uh, we got our bend showing right here. It's gonna go up against that firewall. Our first bender mark is at six inches, and that's where we're gonna um, uh, go by here, and then our next bender mark is right here at nine and a half inches and then this is going to be the end of the tube where it bends up Alrighty guys, uh, we're inside the Jeep here and uh, let's talk about a couple of things. So um, we got our brace in right here and uh, all we done was, you know, we've already got our pedals braced right here and then uh, we went ahead and braced right off of that as well to tie all this kind of end together here. Now, uh, something else that we built that I did not film, but I uh, figured I'd talk about it really quick so you guys understand what's up. And that's this throttle stop back here. Uh, right now it's real loose and stuff. We've been adjusting it. But um, all it is, you basically take your washer. And, and what we've done on this one is I always keep my whole saw donuts. That's what I call them. I always keep them. Just kind of throw them in a the corner. Because sometimes they come in really handy. They work really good for, for different things. Caps or whatever. But in this case it worked really good for this. So how it works is you can see we got two nuts so we can adjust this thing in and out and all this is is just a little piece of tubing that this all thread sticks through okay and that all thread is welded on this 
so once you finally get it where you want it you adjust it tighten it all up and uh, I'm just doing it by finger tight here yeah so so now you've got it adjusted where you want so now you've got a throttle stop so when you hit the throttle you've got somewhere for it to butt up against instead of butting up against the, the firewall or something like that also this helps to adjust it so when you don't want to break a throttle linkage you can adjust this thing in and out so once you do figure out wide open throttle on your uh, vehicle you can set that thing so you don't go past it or break linkages or mess the throttle body up or whatever but i uh, just thought i'd talk about that and uh that stuff is coming right along our pedals are looking good um you know our column is looking good um i'm really really liking this the stuff is the stuff's coming together all righty guys we got this old jeep looking good seats are looking good the column is looking good our disconnect here is looking good for our steering wheel pedals looking really good pedal stop down there um, everything's come along really really nice here and uh, moving on into the next step uh, we're still not quite sure how we want to mount our shifter yet we're still kind of looking at that uh, so let's talk about next week next week we are going to be moving into the rear here and what we're going to be doing is we're going to get turned around here we're going to be working on this top so we've got to drill our holes in our top and we've got to come down and connect into these pads here and here and uh, that's what's coming up in the next video you guys see on this thing so uh hope you guys have enjoyed this week's episode of installing the pedals and installing the column and uh, i think this jeep is coming along really really nice don't forget to make sure you are subscribed to the youtube channel that helps us out a ton um, we are so close to 1,000 subs it's not even funny i think we're at 949 subscribers right now so we're really close to a thousand make sure you help us get to that goal until next time you guys have a good one Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Be sure to check out our new website, kilbymotorsports.com, for all your high performance needs. If you like this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button. It helps us out a ton. Till next time, you guys have a good one.